pop-up day of free shopping for former foster youth. As Christine Devine reports, all the new clothing was donated for a VIP day in Mid-City. Call it back-to-school shopping, all this for former foster youth. I see shoes. Yeah. Shirts? Yes. Where do you go to college? Um, I go to SMC. What are you studying? Um, I'm studying to be a esthetician. It's a pop-up shop at the Make Good Inc. storefront in L.A.'s Mid-City area. This population that we work with is truly one of the groups that is disproportionately impacted by everything we've all been talking about, right? And transition age youth, kids in foster care who are aging out of foster care, had been able to access a lot of services. And as they age out, a lot of those things go away, right? You kind of drop off a cliff. The good news is people are trying. There are a lot of great people working together to make sure that that's a soft landing. The idea, help former foster youth step into fall in style. 250 of them, and all are in college. Why does today matter? Today matters because it's all about us, and it's really about us being aware and being noticed because a lot of people don't even know that we're here and a lot of people don't even know that there's foster people and that we need clothing. Euronymous Fernandez wants to be a judge. The event was in partnership with Foster Nation and Children's Action Network. The youth had to register so they could be assigned a personal shopper. It's really important to just kind of give my time and be with beautiful individuals and just get a different perspective. Are you a volunteer? I'm a volunteer. I work with the Public Defender's Office. Oh, okay. Yeah. And how was it to shop with her today? It was great. We went around and we picked a few things out. Oh, yeah, and I got some shoes. Oh, we got to yeah. show off your kicks. I'm Christine Devine, Fox 11 News. Okay.